Hello everybody, it's Tinkar, and I have another redstone tutorial for you right now. So, this uses, I don't know who actually figured out the glitch, but it uses a uh, metadata glitch <coughs> that you can use to confuse a block into having a different identity. So let's take a look at this. You have a cauldron here. You use it. And that was pretty wacky but in fact it did refill it and we can do that again I just want to make sure that the arrow isn't there you might have to go back there periodically and pick up that arrow but let's do that again <laughs> yeah that's it's pretty funny to watch I gotta say um this gold pressure plate is actually necessary because it, it I don't even know it just part it's part of the uh, metadata glitch but Yes, so that is the machine by itself. So now let's take a look at the redstone behind this thing. So as you can see, it's not the most compact thing, and I sort of was like, I know, I was sort of winging it when I built this. But it gets the point across. It works. It refills a cauldron, and it works in survival too. I could show you that, but I just don't want to fall off here. <laughs> Alright, so let's get building this thing. And like I said, I just sort of improvised on this one, so I might have to take a few looks over there to make sure I am building it right. So first off, you want a place to put your cauldron. So we're going to put ours right here and take a comparator out of that. And then you want to go one back from where you put the cauldron and take another comparator out of that. So you want this comparator to go into a block with a repeater into a block with a repeater and these have to be on two ticks each. I think that's right. All right. And you want this one to go into a block with a sticky piston on the face of that, like so. So now, you want this going into a block there, and then, oh yes, so we need, this is part of the glitch actually, we need a dispenser with arrows and any type of transparent block. I think glass um, is, one, is the best one. I'm not sure if other ones like glowstone and stuff work, but we're just going to go with glass for now. So, let's get that dispenser down there. Oh my god. There we go. Glass on top. And now we want to toss some arrows into here and fire let's say um it depends on how many how much you want your cauldron to be filled but i'm going to fire one two three arrows into that glass block and that will put this all the way up to the third level of fullness which is all the way full any more and it'll just turn it into a block that's like that the game doesn't recognize any less and it won't be full so now let me check my <laughs> I gotta check my own design. Alright. Oh yes, so we want this to have a repeater coming out and then that um to redstone into a repeater here. I think and now we want two pistons on top here we want them both facing in like that and yep what do you know I put them in the wrong spot so these need to be one farther back than I thought like so and we want a block on the face of both of those and then up here You want a dispenser facing downwards, 
like so, with uh, lots of arrows in that one, because this is the one that will be constantly firing off arrows. The other dispenser will only need to be used if the machine breaks or if um, when you're starting it. And oh my god, <laughs> I put this one too low. So you want that one actually to be like that with glass on top of it. Okay, so let's reset that because I am an idiot. So there. And now we want to put our arrows into that. And fire it off three times like I did before and then messed up. Two, three. Alright, so that is good. Now you'll see this cauldron will be over that block with the arrows. I want to fill that in so the arrows don't slide out. You also want to fill this in, because when the piston pulls back and forth, it can dislodge the arrows, and that will break the machine. So, um, now we want this piston to constantly be powered. So we'll toss this there, like so. And now... We want this piston up here to go off a few seconds after this one. So we'll do that. Redstone, redstone. Like so. So that one's off. And then... Uh, yep, so we want redstone running into this block so it'll power the dispenser firing the arrow and then swap these pistons so we're going to go down one more Let's take a look at the other one ah I see I messed up a tad we actually want this torch on top of this block it'll do the same thing but it just gives us a variable delay on that so I want to go around here repeater with four ticks and then ah yes it's all coming back to me like that and this is going to be the start of a small torch tower don't need that arrow out there yet okay block that off we'll get a torch up here and one more torch or one more block in fact ah I also messed this up I was thinking of an earlier design that I had one of the prototypes so we want just three blocks straight to this right here and we want these all on four ticks because this is what's going to allow you to get the uh, gold pressure plate in your hotbar ready to go so now we want to put some water into lay cauldron okay looks like it's ready to go now we need to block there let's get our pressure plate and this may or may not work because it is a glitch but once you get it calibrated like as in if you've built it correctly <laughs> um, it will work almost every time so there we go and it does actually destroy all the bits for you and you just go in there collect them and that is it so actually before I do the outro thing um, you might have noticed when that goes back you have 12 ticks I think or uh, probably more like 15 ticks to get your pressure plate here so what I do is I get I empty that now I get the uh, pressure plate golden pressure plate has to be golden in my hotbar and I hold right click there so when that piston pulls I'll show that one more time 
So when that piston pulls, it, I uh, have the pressure plate there right away. Otherwise, it you might um, mess up the timing, and that will break the machine. If it does break, all you need to do is destroy this, and then refill it w manually with a bucket, and then it should work again, and also clear out any extra arrows. And also, more troubleshooting, if you get a block that looks like... Uh, if you get a block that looks like this... Oh, never mind. That worked perfectly. But sometimes you'll have something wrong with the machine, and this will turn out as a pink and black checkered sort of alpha block. I don't really know what to call it, but in that case, you just destroy it, um, put it back out here, refill it like you would normally to fix the machine. So that is the automatic cauldron refiller. It will instant, um, in infinitely refill your cauldron without taking any water and all the arrows you can just retrieve and pop them right back in the dispenser and go on your merry way. So thank you for watching. This was Tin Cart with another great redstone tutorial. Make sure you head over to my channel and check out the other cool stuff I've got going on over there. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.